Okay, so today I'm uh, here to see the uh, DT Suzuki Museum, which is behind me. Uh, I guess when people come to Kanazawa, they mostly come to the 21st Century Museum and uh, Kenro Ken and all those kind of places. Uh, but this is somewhere that kind of really surprised me. I, like I always say, I've lived here a long time and there's still so many uh, fantastic, amazing places you can check out in Kanazawa. And uh, this is one of them. So I like to call this like my hidden 21st century museum and over there my hidden Kenrokin garden. Um, yeah, it just shows you that, you know, even in the middle of Kanazawa, um, you can find these really cool places that, uh, yeah, you can just kind of, uh, you know, push yourself to learn new things. So let's check it out. Let's check all these places out and uh, have a good time, hopefully, in the process. Yeah, so like I said, it does really have a cool vibe about it. Um, I'm gonna go in now and check it out. The uh, actual outer interior of it is very cool and relaxing and serene. Hey, so uh, this is a pretty uh, quiet and a magical place. Um, I think just the whole vibe of the place here is the coolest part. Yeah. Just the whole ambience and atmosphere. It's really nice and relaxing. Okay, so I'm sitting in the main uh, city room, I guess, where you can really feel the atmosphere here. Uh, I think you're really supposed to be quiet, taking the whole atmosphere here and just uh, relax and refresh. I guess why this, that's why this place is pretty cool. And it definitely does seep into you and make you feel relaxed and calm. So. Yeah, um, I try to come here like I do with all these things. I try to time it on a weekday in the morning, not on a busy day, so you can kind of get it to yourself. But in saying that, I don't think it's a main destination on the tourist routes, so for now anyway. So yeah, I definitely recommend uh, checking out the DT Suzuki Museum. It's really cool. Okay, so that was the DT uh, Museum, and yeah, I could really, like I said, you feel rested and restored just from the whole place. I mean, it's a contemplative space, and it's uh, really relaxing and chill. So, yeah, I've got to work later on today, but uh, this is definitely a good way to start the day. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, so behind the museum, actually, is a... Uh, a uh, garden that I never knew existed. And uh, like I said, I've lived here a long time and it's really cool. So yeah, I like to call this my uh, secret little you know, Kenro Kenkas garden. Because uh, yeah, you can just really chill out and enjoy a nice garden here. It's actually free, even better. And I 
guess no one really knows about it. It's not like, come and see this garden. It's very cool. Totally recommend it. Okay, so my uh, little uh, Kenro Kenro Garden actually has a name. It's called uh, Shofukaku Garden. Shofukaku Garden. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. Like, you have a little car, koi here. And uh, yeah. Stone Garden. Got this all to myself. It's Friday morning, loving it. And uh, I don't want to say hidden cutters out, probably because I'm maybe an idiot and just uh, <laughs> lived here and never knew maybe what an obvious garden is for actual Kanazawa people that live here. But uh, just shows you that even in the local area that you live, if you just uh, explore a couple of extra streets that way or that way, you can find yourself in awesome places yes. and you've got it you got to love it. it's just uh, fantastic and uh, you know uh, I've lived in Japan for almost 20 years now but you can still get your very this is Japan because this is wonderful Okay, so uh, I would have to say that's a very cool garden. I'm very uh, happy chilling out here. And uh, like I said, uh, you can really uh, get a personal, uh, like a, a personal experience in the Japanese garden here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. And uh, I'm so happy I came here. And uh, yeah, there's a cool rocky stone palm. It just you know, adds extra coolness to this area. So yeah, totally digging it. Okay, so I'm walking along the, I don't know, it's back there, the Midori no Komuchi path. Um, which is really cool. It's like this nice <laughs> nature kind of walk you can get and uh, this is just like downtown Kanazawa but uh, like I said it's just not really that traversed compared to the other main tourist routes of Kanazawa so kind of like you can get a little bit of a <laughs> nature hideaway which is really cool I'm digging it Okay, so I walked into another place called the Nakamura um, like Memorial Place or whatever, and uh, they have a place where you can do have some Japanese tea. So I'm totally into that. And uh, it starts with uh, yes, you can choose your favorite bowl. So okay, I guess I have to choose my favorite bowl. Hmm, what's a good bowl? Okay, all right. So I'm going to choose the bowl. Okay, very good. So, yes, I chose. Okay, this, uh, this bowl, this cup for my tea ceremony. So yes, I'm going to use this one. Very cool. Okay, so I decided to have, chose my, my uh, cup. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to, well, they have the instructions here, even in English, yes. Uh, how to uh, have tea ceremony. So it's got things like, yes, eat the sweets before the tea comes, lift the plate with sweets and eat the sweets by hand. Uh, if there's a small pick mix of sweets, you can use it to cut the sweets in a bite sized piece that are easy to eat, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is just a rough cut to the tea sweet. Okay. Ah, okay. So yes, <laughs> thank you. Yes, my sweet has arrived. There we go. Bring it on. Okay, so as they said, um, we should have the sweet first. 
So I'm going to eat the sweet. Which is uh, really sugary. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like really sugary. <laughs> but uh, oh well. I'm following how it works. So. Mm. And there's probably a reason why I have the sugar. Maybe it makes the tea go down easier. Anyway, having the sweet. One, two, okay, and here we go. But actually, that really does actually taste good after having that sugary sweet. So I guess there is some method to the madness. So, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it definitely negates that sweetness. Mm. Really, really good. Okay, I'm getting it. Mm. So, uh, there you go, life is hard. Uh, yeah, kind of life, eh? Yeah, it's a very cool way to relax. Okay, so after you finish, you are supposed to put it back down here and then turn it the other way so before I do it this way so one two and then we're done okay so that was my uh, green tea experience very cool that I can do this totally by myself just on one other day just walking in but uh yeah it's just uh, sometimes I forget living here every day that these things exist here so I'm really glad that I push myself to come out and experience these things it's really cool and it only costs like like uh, how much was that 350 yen about three bucks and so it's just uh, really cool Okay, so that was my little uh, trip around the DT Suzuki Museum, which took me to here and uh, the uh, Shofukaku Garden next to it and the, the Nakamura Memorial Place next to it. And I would definitely say that this uh, was a very relaxing and uh, soothing and uh, yeah, just calming experience, which was uh, really cool and uh, very intimate, you know. Uh, Especially when I came, I, yeah, it's just like, it feels like it's just you and me. And that's kind of more of like the connections I like to have when I'm traveling. Uh, I could have tea ceremony, and that was by myself, just chilling out. I wasn't, that wasn't one of the plans, but uh, I just couldn't resist it when I saw it. And uh, yeah, so like I said, this is like, uh, you know, most people come to see the 21st Century Museum and most people come to see Kimura Ken, but uh, if you just go a little bit off the path and just don't hit those main centers, uh, it's amazing that this is in the middle of Kanazawa and yet you can feel like you're right in the midst of nature. So uh, yeah, it's really cool and I'm really digging it. So um, as I always say, uh, find an experience, enjoy it. Uh, get out and push yourself to find those places that even in the own place you've lived for 20 years, like, uh, you can just find places you never imagined existed. And by doing that, you can uh, grow as a person and become better for it as, as I always say so yeah thank you